Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about neutron interaction. Compared to the chemical reaction, the nuclear reaction has less chance. So chemical reaction has higher occurrence probability. than nuclear reaction first reason is the nucleus is much smaller than an atom so the collision is very less likely to take place between a nucleus and an atom and the second reason being the nucleus is positively charged so basically the nucleus will always repel the positive particles away from it so the coulomb repulsion will make the interaction more difficult to occur but in case of neutrons they are neutral particles so they do not face this coulomb repulsion and that's why since the neutron has no charge there is no coulomb barrier and consequently the energetic neutrons are not required we also know lambda equals to h by mv therefore when energy goes down when energy goes down lambda will go up and this equation stands out to be 2.86 into 10 to the minus 11 by root over of e a neutron will interact with the nuclei with multiple ways like neutron emission and neutron absorption There are two more ways in which neutron emission can take place. One is scattering and the other is neutron collision and it will go on. Neutron scattering can further be classified into elastic and inelastic and elastic collisions can be of two types one is isotropic and the another is anisotropic the absorption has three separate categories one being capture one being in alpha in proton and the last one being nuclear fission we will discuss the absorption part in a separate video today we are going to discuss about this scattering so basically scattering is a reaction in which the emitted particle is same as the incident particle so it can be drawn as one small projectile hitting a bigger projectile then they're fusing to form one this gives rise to the stability instability and after that they again separates into their previous form because this was the stable one and then this one came in they made a cluster this gave rise to the instability and that's why they got separated so basically these are the two initial particles and the same are the final particles in absorption reaction this results in disappearance of one neutron and appearance of another nuclear species but in case of elastic and inelastic collision that is not the case basically in collision as I said the initial particles are same as the final products now we're going to talk about elastic scattering in an elastic scattering basically one neutron strikes the nucleus uh, the nucleus is basically in the ground state nucleus in ground state 
and one neutron hits the nucleus and then after this the neutron again reappears and the same nucleus is left which is also in the ground state there is basically no energy or mass transfer in this reaction uh, it can also be written down like one neutron striking a nucleus to give the same nucleus is in same energy state and the same neutron whereas in case of inelastic scattering the nucleus is left at an excited state so there is basically energy transfer so a neutron comes in it strikes a ground state nucleus some amount of energy is transferred from the neutron to the nucleus and this nucleus is left at an excited state this is an excited nucleus and the same amount of energy will be drained from the neutron the amount of energy increase in the nucleus will be drained out from the neutron